श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम वांगे मनसी प्रतिष्ठिता मनो मे वाजी प्रतिष्ठित आविरार्मेधी वेद से मणी स्तुत मे महासी अनेना होंदधा ऋत वदिष्या सत्यम वदिष्या तन्मावत तद्वक्तावत अवत मवत वक्ता अवत वक्ता ओं शांति 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 वी आर कंप्लीटेड द संबंध भाष्य ऑफ ऐत्रोपनिषद एंड नाउ वी विल एंटर द उपनिषद प्रॉपर This Sambandha Bhasha in this Upanishad is very very important, and it gives us a very clear picture about what this Upanishad is aiming at. Without this understanding, we will be getting lost in the argument and logics, and therefore. Please study it again and make your understanding clear. Now we enter the Upanishad, the first chapter, the first part. Please repeat after me. Om Atma Va Idam Ekam Eva Grahasit. Idam Eka Eva Grahasit Nanyat Kinchana Mishata. सईक्षत लोकानुसृजा ओम द उपनिषद और एनी मंत्र बिगिन्स विद ओम ओम एंड अथ दीज टू वर्ड्स आर द मोस्ट ऑस्पिशियस वर्ड्स एंड देर फोर वी बिगिन द स्टडी ऑफ द उपनिषद by remembering the most auspicious the lord now atma va idam ek eva agre asit it is actually agre because it is followed by a it has become aya and the y is drop therefore agra asit so atma va indeed this atma alone eva एक द वन विदाउट सेकंड इदम अग्रे आसी बिफोर द वर्ल्ड वॉज क्रिएटेड दैट मीन्स बिफोर द वर्ल्ड वॉज क्रिएटेड इट वॉज कॉल्ड एज आत्मा इट इज समथिंग लाइक बिफोर द ऑर्नामेंट वर क्रिएटेड इट वॉज कॉल्ड एज गोल्ड एंड नान्यत किंचन मिशत एंड देर वॉज नथिंग else in this world which was <coughs> mishat that means with any modification with any changes nanyat kinchana mishat now that paramatma that atma sa ikshata he contemplated what did he contemplated lokanu srujayati let me create the worlds this is how this is the first thought with which the whole world is created we have seen in our uh, fourth chapter of panchadashi that different kinds of creations creation born out of ikshana creation born out of tapasya uh, and creation born out of सिक्वेन्स आत्मन आकाश समूत आकाशाद वायु एट्सेट्रा तो हियर 
This is ikshana. He contemplated. And the contemplation of the Lord is the beginning of creation. Now be very attentive. Please, one thing you should always remember, whenever you read anything, we should be able to convert that thing into our spiritual practice. Then we are sincere seekers of truth. Just like a person who is interested in earning money, wherever he go, whatever he sees, he tries to apply that in such a manner that he is able to earn money out of it. Like a person will go to, uh, let us take Badrinath. There was one beggar in Badrinath. He has been there, I don't know whether still there or not. He has been there for last 40 years. And he goes during only the season, when the people are going that time. And there is one small stone, there he sits. And uh, please give Viksha, please give Viksha. 40 years he has been sitting there. What for he has gone there, leaving the home in search of God? But then he started seeing so many people come and their people are very much wanting to give something in charity. So people started giving, looking at him, you know, like a beggar person. So they started giving somebody give 10 paisa, somebody 20 paisa. And then he sat there and slowly, slowly he started collecting that. And then uh, one day when I was talking to him, I said, what do you do? You stay here all the time? He said, no. Only during this time I come here, then I go back. I said, what do you do at home? He said, nothing. I got my house, my wife, my children, my, what do you call, property. And I got my farm. I said, when you have got so many things, why are you doing this thing? He said, out of this only I got that. And you can imagine what for... He has gone for taking the darshan of Narayana. But out of that, he made such a thing that he became a rich person in this village. This is called as application, single-pointed to anything. Now apply the same principle here. Whatever we are studying, we should be able to apply that in our spiritual practice, then we are seekers. Now, here, Atma, I have not taken it, the Bhashya, I will take it later. First of all, clear this thought. Uh, Atma was idam eka eva agre asit, nanyat kinchat. And so ikshata, then he started contemplation. And as a result of contemplation, Lokanva Srujayati, he created the world. So what is the meaning? Is it not our story? In deep sleep, ekameva aditiya, nanyat kinchat mishat. And then we wake up, means what? Saikshata, what is the time? Where I am? Who am I? What I have to do? Oh, I had to go for a class, it's already late. Now let me go without taking bath. This is how, with the thought, the world is created. It is the thoughts which are responsible for creating the sense of otherness. And what is the world? World is nothing but a sense of otherness. And who lives in this world where there is sense of otherness? Where or he say or who he may be, who is considering himself to be limited? So these two things to put together is the samsara. A sense of limitation and a sense of otherness. The whole world is created. So, all our spiritual practice is to this. Become extremely aware of first your body, then prat, then the thoughts. Thereafter, not aware of, but awareness itself. Like the 
बबल्स कम आउट ऑफ द पूल ऑफ वॉटर एंड अगेन दे गो बैक टू द सेम पूल इन द सेम मैनर विश्व दर्पण दृश्यमान नगरी तुल्यम निजांतर्गतम द सेम कॉन्शियसनेस इज एक्सप्रेसिंग एज द थॉट एट द सर्फेस बट अगेन इट इज नथिंग बट प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस तो वेन द थॉट्स आर सेकेंडरी एंड द सोर्स ऑफ द थॉट्स इज प्राइमरी देन वॉट एपन्स इज अंतर्लक्ष बहिर्दृष्टि निमेश उन्मेश वर्जिता अटेंशन इज ऑन दिस कॉन्शियस प्रिंसिपल एंड वी मे बी पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड बट अटेंशन इज ऑल द टाइम ऑन दिस कॉन्शियस प्रिंसिपल दिस इज द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस मंत्रा इन अवर लाइफ सो इफ देर इज नो थॉट इरप्शन लाइक आफ्टर डेथ नो थॉट इज इरप्टेड विथ रेफरेंस टू दिस बॉडी इन दिस बॉडी द रिजल्ट इज देर इज नो वर्ल्ड इट्स डेड ऑलरेडी वेन द सेम थिंग हैपन्स विदाउट डेथ एंड विदाउट स्लीप देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज जीवन मुक्ति लिबरेशन फाइल अलाइव आत्मा वा इदमेक एवाग्रे आसी नान्यत किंचन मिशत सईक्षत लोकानुसृजा नाइस वन पर्सन स्टडीड एंड डिन सडनली ए थॉट कम जन्म वाय नॉट हैव एन आश्रम वाय नॉट हैव द डिसाइपल्स एंड फ्रॉम देअर युअर ग्रेव इज डग very very important in life other than the truth nothing else is important in this world how many people have come and gone how many people have constructed the ashrams and gone so atma va idam ek eva grasi dhanyat kinchita saikshata lokan srujayati let me create the worlds Now we take the bhasha, atma, apno tehe, atehe, atati erva. What is the meaning of this word atma? This is say yes. That time I told you again. I repeat it. The original words of this mantra you kindly underline so that you remember how to read it. So atma is the word from the mantra. You underline that. and then the meaning of that is given subsequently so atma means what apno tehe attehe atatervā atma this word is the modification of one of the three roots which are those three roots first is ap apno tehe apnoti आप इज द रूट एंड आपनोति इज द थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर सो आपनोते हे लाइक मते हे आपनोति हैज बिकम ए नाउन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस सो आपनोते हे नाउ व्हाट इज दैन आप शब्द आप धातु इट इज व्याप्ति बोधक व्याप्ति बोधक मीन्स वॉट आपनोति स्वाराज्यम दैट मीन्स ही इज permeated in and through the totality that means he has transcended the limitation of space so he who has transcended the limitation of space is called as atma so now what is our understanding of atma the self the one who is in the body is the self so the real meaning of the word atma is the one who is not limited by space is atma apnote he ar atte he ad dhatu is for eating um like you know 
एवरीथिंग इज अल्टीमेटली एब्सॉर्ब इन दिस रियालिटी लाइक ऑल दी वेव्स आर एब्सॉर्ब इन द ओशन सो इज द ओशन ओशन इज द ईटर ऑफ वेव्स देन दिस ओशन इज आप परमिएटर इन एंड थ्रू ऑल द वेव्स देर फोर ओशन इज द आत्मा ऑफ द वेव्स बिकॉज ऑल द वेव्स आर परमिएटेड बाय दिस ओशन एंड ऑल द वेव्स आर ईटन अवे बाय द सेम ओशन सो आप नोते हे अत्ते हे अत तेरवा अत अत धातु इज मेन्ड फॉर कंटिन्युअस मूवमेंट कंटिन्युअस मूवमेंट इज हियर विथ रेफरेंस टू द नॉलेज so there are three things which are indicated by this word atma one is that which is beyond space that which is supporting the space other that which is consuming everything that is the vastu the object and satat gamana bodhak is called as the time movement is always in time so what is the atma atma is that which is supporting the desha kala vastu and yet is beyond the desha kala vastu is the atma so atma apnote he atte he atate irva paraha therefore this atma tatva is all this and or beyond this so when we say all this that means the world is what desha kala vastu is the world the time space object now the time space object is the parmatma alone and yet he is beyond all this therefore va paraha so atma atte he apnote he atater va paraha and who is he he sarvajnaha he is omniscient because he is present in all the desha kala vastu sarvajnaha then sarva shakti hi ashanayadi sarva samsara dharma varjitah and he is all powerful he is because the wielder of the total kriya shakti sarvajnaha wielder of the total gnana shakti because and tell them to shut their mouth and uh, this atma tatva is not only permeating the desha kala vastu but it is beyond that and this atma tatva has its inherent two powers the gnana shakti and the kriya shakti therefore sarvajnaha he is the wielder of the power of knowledge sarvajnaha and sarva shakti he he is the wielder of the kriya shakti and third thing ashana yadi sarva samsara dharma varjitah and the one who does not have the attributes of relativity what are the attributes of relativity attributes of relativity is hunger thirst desire lust anger passion everything is the samsara dharma so ashanayadi sarva samsara dharma varjitah he is other than all these samsara dharma ashanayadi sarva samsara dharma varjitah that means although he is supporting the total relativity yet he is not under the influence of any relativity like the ocean is supporting all the waves and thereby creating the relativity among the waves and yet the ocean is beyond the relativity as ocean the cause and wave the effect he is beyond this cause and effect and therefore सर्वधर्म वर्जि संसार धर्म वर्जिता फर्दर 
ನಿತ್ಯ ಶುದ್ಧ ಬುದ್ಧ ಮುಕ್ತ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಅಜ ಅಜರ ಅಮರ ಅಮೃತ ಅಭಯ ಅದ್ವಯ ವೈ ಆಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ತತ್ವ ಈಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಇಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅನ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಾಯ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಶುದ್ಧ ಅನ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಾಯ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಬುದ್ಧ ಅನ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಾಯ್ ದ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ self effulgent is buddha then mukta is uh, ever free because there is no duality in the non dual absolute alone there is complete freedom attained wherever there is anything which is conditioning through the duality that itself is the bondage so mukta therefore means the non dual non relational existence is mukti mukta swabhava and he is thus by nature it is not imposed on this reality that is its nature further and because of this ajaha unborn is not created it is not the uh exp- uh, expression in time but the time is expressed in this ajaha and then ajaraha ajaraha me the one who does not become old therefore neither born and not influenced by time therefore not modified jara old age is the modification so the this atma tatva is neither born nor it undergoes any modification these are very important words now see we do not have any experience that we are modifying our body is modifying our uh, thoughts are modifying our liking is modifying our priorities are changing but none of us have the experience that i the self has ever modified we are the same exactly so all the memories that we talk about are spoken by the one who has been ever the same no changes therefore ajaraha and amaraha and the last impact of time is the extinction death so this cannot be eliminated by the influence of influence of time then therefore amrutaha therefore amrutaha immortal and because there is immortality abhayaha there is no fear all of us have this is the highest fear in our life the fear of extinction <coughs> so amaraha then abhayaha and all these things which are said uh, nitya shuddha buddha mukta swabhava ajaha ajaraha amaraha amrutaha abhayaha all these things are possible only under one condition and that is advaya ha because dvitiyat vai bhayam bhavati wherever there is duality the fear is the manifestation in duality in the non dual infinite absolute being fear cannot erupt one uh, wave will be afraid of other wave but the ocean is not afraid of anything because there is no otherness in the ocean ocean is one homogeneous mass of water so similarly this absolute homogeneous undivided and broken non dual reality alone can be fearless immortal uninfluenced by time immaculate enlightened free and eternal now idam yaduktam ನಾಮ ರೂಪ ಕರ್ಮ ಭೇದ ಭಿನ್ನ ಜಗತ್ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇದಂ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆತ್ಮ ವಾ ಇದಂ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇದಂ ನಾವು ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ ದಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇದಂ ಸಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಡೆವಲಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ದಟ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ದ ಟೀಚರ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇನ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಆನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ so like you hear you know the atma was explained and then idam so now the idam word is taken so idam yaduktam now what is the meaning of idam what is said nama roopa karma bheda bhinnam jagat so idam means that which is having the 
differences and duality on account of the name the form the activities etc so what is the jagat jagat is that where duality on account of name form and activity exist so this is what is called as the jagat so idam jagat atma eva was atma alone eko एक वन अग्रे जगत सृष्टे प्राक प्राक मीन्स बिफोर आसीद वॉज सो आसीद इज अनदर वर्ड फ्रॉम द मंत्र सो वॉट इज द होल थिंग मीन्स द वर्ड इदम इंडिकेट्स द वर्ल्ड विच इज नथिंग बट द इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ ड्युएलिटी विथ रेफरन्स टू नेम फॉर्म एंड एक्टिविटी This world was Atma alone before the creation of this world. This is what is said. Therefore, this world is only superimposed on the Atma Tattva. Now, as I told you, what is the world? World is Nama Rupa Karma Bhed. नामरूपा इज रिक्वायर्ड राधर वेन देयर इज अ रूप नाम फॉलोज वेन देर इज अ फॉर्म टू इंडिकेट दैट पर्टिक्युलर फॉर्म ए लेबल इज रिक्वायर्ड दैट इज वाई नो वेन द चिल्ड्रन आर देयर सो देर आर थ्री चिल्ड्रन सो यू कैन नॉट एड्रेस देम बाय कॉमन चाइल्ड नो नाउन चाइल्ड कम इयर वॉट चाइल्ड विच चाइल्ड देन चाइल्ड नंबर वन चाइल्ड नंबर टू बिकॉज दे आर नॉट द शीप एंड गोट देर फोर वी नेम देम Animals are numbered, so nama, rupa, and then karma, the different types of activities. This is called as jagat. So this whole jagat was essentially atma before creation. That means, other than the atma, there is nothing. Then and now, this is the meaning. Now, when this is said, a question is raised: Kim na idanim sa eva eka? when you said before creation atma alone was this world so after the world is created now atma has become extinct so kim idanim na sa ek eva ha so now after the world is created so probably atma must have been exhausted it's something like you know before the curds were formed milk was there and now what is there now there is no milk only curds so in this manner out of the milk when the curd is prepared milk disappears in the same manner out of the atma when the world appears that does not mean the atma has disappeared therefore the creation is not the modification of the self this is very important see how important it is so this creation has no impact or influence on the original reality the atma tatva so kim naidanim sa eva ekaha no try to understand you don't become stupid like this katham tarri asid idi uchchate then why he has said that it was why the past tense was used it is something you know uh before he came to um usa he was an indian so now is he not indian no he is american american only citizenship but he continues to be indian he can't change he will have the same black hair and um, brown skin so when somebody changes the citizenship nothing changes in him except the political stamp that's it similarly before the creation the whole world was atma and therefore now also it is atma only don't mistake that now it atma has disappeared therefore the teacher say now then katham tari asiri di uchchate then why do you say it was so the teacher explains यद्यपि इदानीम स एव एक तथापि अस्ति विशेष ऑल्सो नाउ ऑल्सो 
the same one atma alone is however there is some visheshata there is some speciality for us to know what is this speciality now see how beautifully this thought is brought out we'll see where is the speciality prag utpatte he अव्याकृत नाम रूप भेदात्म भूत आत्मा एक शब्द प्रत्यय गोचरम प्राग उत्पत्ते है बिफोर द क्रिएशन बिफोर द क्रिएशन व्हाट वॉज द कंडीशन अव्याकृत अनमैनिफेस्ट व्हाट वॉज अनमैनिफेस्ट नाम रूप भेद सो दिस आत्म तत्व वॉज नॉट इन्फेस्टेड with the virus of division creating the differences on account of name form and activity so avyakruta unmanifest nama rupa bhed atma bhuta so atma eva ek shabda pratyay gocharam so that time there was only one word used to indicate atma and then After that the jagat is created. Now what is the world? Jagat idanim vyakruta naam roop bhedatvat. Now what is the world? World is the manifestation of the differences on account of the name, form, and activity. So now what has happened because of this? Jagat idanim vyakruta naam roop bhedatvat. Anek shabda pratyaya gocharam. And therefore now. this one atma is now indicated by many names see earlier atma was indicated only by one name atma means atma because other than atma there was nothing now after the creation has taken place which is vyakruta naam roop karma bhed then the same atma is now indicated by many more words such as अनेक शब्द प्रत्यय गोचरम आत्मा एक शब्द प्रत्यय गोचरम च इति विशेष सो अर्लियर देर वॉज ओनली वन वर्ड टू इंडिकेट आत्मा टू आत्मा नाउ देर आर मेनी वर्ड्स प्लस द आत्मा देर फोर सी हियर वॉट इज सेड व्याकृत नाम रूप भेदत्वाद अनेक प्रत्यय गोचरम आत्मा एक शब्द प्रत्यय गोचरम च इति विशेष सो दिस आत्म तत्व इज नाउ इंडिकेटेड बाय टू ऑप्शन अर्लियर देर वॉज ओनली वन ऑप्शन आत्मा इज आत्मा बिकॉज देर इज नथिंग अदर दैन आत्मा बट नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ द क्रिएशन इन एडिशन टू द नाम रूप भेद द आत्मा देर आर नाउ सो मेनी ऑप्शन सो बी वेरी अटेंटिव Where is the world? World is only in shabda matra. That's very important. The world, world that we talk about, has no existence beyond words. Vacharam banam vikaro namadevam mrtika matra satyam. How important! Now he gives an example. Yatha salilat prutak phen naam roop vyakaranat prak salila ek shabd pratyay gocharam eva phenam. Salila means water. Before the water has manifested as the foam or the surf or the bubble. before that water was referred only by one word water now after the water has manifested as the surf or the bubbles now that water is referred by additional word called as the phenum or the surf or the uh, bubble in addition to the word water see the difference when it is only water is called as water when associated with the uh, names and forms of surf etc it is called by two names yada salilat prutak nam roop bhedina vyakrutam bhavati 
तदा सलीलम फेनम च इति अनेक शब्द प्रत्यय भाग सलीलम एव इति च एक शब्द प्रत्यय भाग च फेनम भवती तद्वत जस्ट यदा सलीलात पृथक वेन अदर देन द वॉटर सलीलात पृथक नाम रूप भेदे न बाय द डिफरसेस इन द नेम एंड द फॉर्म व्याकृतम भवती फेनम फेनम मीन्स द सर्फ और द बबल so when the bubble or the surf expresses itself as separate name and form as if it is separate than the water then tada salilam phelam cha then we call that time the same water by two names one is water second is surf or one is salila and second is the phena सो सलीलम फेनम इति अनेक शब्द प्रत्यय भाग सो द सेम वन वॉटर इज नो कॉल्ड बाय मेनी नेम सच एज द वॉटर द सर्फ द वेव द रिपल द वट यू कॉल द व्हील पूल ऑल दीज आर द नेम्स गिवन ओनली टू द वॉटर बिकॉज ऑफ द डिफरसेस इन द नेम एंड फॉर्म सलीलम एव इति च एक शब्द प्रत्यय भाग च फेनम भवती तद्वत सो द सेम वॉटर इज नाउ कॉल्ड एज द सर्फ इन द सेम मैनर दट वन आत्मा बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रिडोमिन ऑफ द नेम एंड द फॉर्म इज कॉल्ड एज जगत बी वेरी अटेंटिव वेर आर द नेम्स एंड फॉर्म्स दिस इज अ पेपर वेट Now, where is the name paper weight? That name paper weight is in the speech. See, when we say Ganges, is it anywhere written on the Ganges? Ganges, Ganges? No, there is no tattooing on the Ganges by its name. So, where are the names? Where are the words? They are in the speech. And what is the speech? Speech is nothing but mind. Grossified mind is a speech. So where are all the names? All the names are in the mind. And what are the names in the mind? They are only images. And therefore, the total world is nothing but the projection of the mind. And therefore, it is an illusion. This is the meaning. See, that is why one of the most potent method of meditation. I have told you few times, probably. when you are coming in contact with any object for example here color and form the eyes when the eyes come in contact with the color and form and you do not name categorize evaluate judge or uh, pass any label on the object then what happens then the world is not born and that is what is called as the shambhavi mudra therefore yato vacho nivartante aprapya manasas not about the senses very few people take cognizance of this when you are coming in contact with the world through the senses you are in the divine experience but the divine experience is made into the worldly experience when we start talking see so when i look at the object now in this what is happening the drushya drashta darshana now this drushta darsha darsha drushta drashta drushya and darshan this triputi is naturally existing in the reality and this triputi does not create any bondage see but the moment we see something the moment we hear something immediately the world is created by projections that is why these two words i have been referring number of time when perception is followed by projection the world is created 
एंड वट इज द वर्ल्ड नाम रूप कर्म भेद भिन्न सो दट वन वॉटर बिकम्स द सर्फ द टाइड द ब्रेकर द वेव द रिपल एंड सो ऑन नाउ आफ्टर हैविंग टोल्ड दिस नाउ बिफोर वी गो दिस How do we understand this now? This is what is called in our Vedanta Shastra as Vivartavad. Vivarta means what? Uh, when we translate it in English, it becomes illusion, but it is not a complete understanding. Vivarta means what? Visheshena uh, vartate, like. Existence. Existence is the non-specific general thing. Like एक the pencil is, then the book is, then the wall is, electricity is, the student is. So this existence has nothing to do whether something is inert or something is alive. It is common. so this common existence when it starts appearing specific existence so the specific existence is called as vivarta now what is the common existence see be very attentive when i take these two fingers this finger is recognized as existing finger number 1 then there is finger number 2 now why they have become two because of the roop the form and the name this finger is called as the middle finger this finger is called as the index finger now the two names in the fingers is because of the form and because of the form names are given now how do we recognize these two fingers middle finger is and index finger is so existence is common but on the common existence visheshata specificity is superimposed and what is that common existence common existence is who knows this finger i know the middle finger i know the uh, index finger and i know the absence of this fingers in between space so which is the common existence now the common existence is the one which is supporting the specific existence as well as the absence of the specific existence and that common existence is the atma tatva see this is the meaning of vivarta so this whole phenomena is nothing but vivarta so gold is gold what is the vivarta of the gold the bracelet the necklace the ring the nose ring the ear ring the throat ring see so one gold on that one gold so many things are superimposed therefore this whole thing is explained only by the simple technique vivartavad and see this vivarta also means viruddham vartate see one was visheshena vartate second viruddham what is the uh, opposite opposite is the gold does not have any form ornaments have specific forms gold is neither created nor destroyed ornaments are created and destroyed in the same manner this atma tatva does not have any form so what is the vivarta of the atma that which is with the form the atma tatva is nitya shuddha buddha mukta swarupa what will be the vivarta of this nitya atma will be anitya jagat 
in this manner by this vivarta only we can explain the relationship between the atma and the world now what is the relationship relationship is relationless relationship there is no relation what is the relationship between the ocean and the wave relation will be there if they are two they are not two can the waves exist apart from the wave uh, ocean no then how they can be called as related or not but are you not referring them by two words ocean and the wave yes we are referring so they are two yes they are two therefore they have got relation yes they have got relation then one time you say there is no relation one time you say there is relation then we solve your problem very simply what is that relationless relationship this is called as vivartavad relation is referred when we are talking from the relative standpoint but when we inquire the position of the relativity in the absolute we come to know in the absolute there is no relationship possible and therefore this world is nothing but vivarta relationless relationship between the atma and the world was wow. we thought this mantra is so small it will be over quickly now further nanyat kinchan mission nanyat kinchan na kinchid api mission amishad vyaparavad itaradva mission means that which is modifying we are of the words you phata but you read and we don't get them anywhere in the नान्यत किंचन न किंचित अपी मीशत निमिषत व्यापारवत इतरत वा सो मीशत मीन्स व्यापारवत दैट विच इज सब्जेक्टेड टू मॉडिफिकेशन चेंजेस एंड निमिषत मीन्स इतरत अदर दैन व्यापार वॉट इज अदर दैन व्यापार निष्क्रिय विदाउट एनी मॉडिफिकेशन विदाउट एनी चेंज so nanyat kinchid api so other than this atma tatva before the creation there was absolutely nothing with modification or without modification that means all the modifications and no modification these are super imposed on this atma tatva the reality so nanyat kinchid mishad nimishad vyaparavat itaratva example is given now why this is said again and again okay we agree that there is nothing other than the atma 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 baba finish it off he said no the problem is because there are other people who don't accept this which are those people they are sankhya and the kanas yatha sankhya nam atma pakshapati svatantram pradhanam तथा तथा च काम अणव न तह अन्य आत्मन किंचित अपी वस्तु विद्यते सो अनलाइक दिस टू फिलॉसॉफी सांख्य फिलॉसॉफी एंड द काद फिलॉसॉफी न वॉट दे सी सी अवर योग शास्त्र इज बेस्ड ऑन द सांख्य फिलॉसॉफी एंड दिस इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस according to the yoga shastra or the sankhya philosophy the prakriti of each person is different from other according to vedanta shastra there is but one prakriti there are not many prakritis so yatha sankhya nam atma pakshapati svatantram pradhanam atma pakshapati individually separate so for each atma for each jeeva there is one uh, prakriti and therefore as many jivas so many prakritis therefore uh, purusham prakritim chaiva vidhyanaadi uha api in the sankhya vivek in the 13th chapter when bhagwan will explain us there will study little more so unlike the sankhya who talk about in addition to the atma there is the prakriti of the atma and thereby duality is resulted 
Similarly, the Karnadas, they talk about Atma and the Anus, Parmanus, Trisaranu, all kinds of things. And therefore, there cannot be acceptance of the non-dual reality. So to remove these kinds of uh, approaches to the non-dual absolute reality, the teacher is very clearly mentioning here, Nanyat Kinchan Mishad. Mishad ami nimishad vyaparavat itaratva. Therefore, other than the Atma Tattva, there is nothing, nothing, nothing else. Now, what happens, you know? There is nothing else. So, people catch, oh, there is something called as nothing. When it is said there is nothing else, means what? Atma alone is. Purushanna param kinchit sakashthasa paragati. So, uh, tadvat iha in the same manner here in our Vedanta Aupanishadik Siddhanta Atmanaha kinchidapi na vastu vidyate other than the pure self there is nothing else according to the Aupanishadik Siddhanta Kim Tarri then what was that? Atma eva eka asit iti avipraya therefore before creation during creation and after creation and after dissolution, Atma alone is the reality. Then, on this Atma Tattva, creation, sustenance and dissolution are superimposed. See how beautiful the whole thing is. Now is it not unless I is there, there cannot be my wife, my children, my samsar. And if I is not there, all this disappear. Now in and through all the wife, samsara, tragedies, happiness, I has to be present. So I is the one which is constantly supporting all the changes. It can never be absent. In the same manner, when this I is discovered to be the absolute I, which is supporting the total creation, sustenance and dissolution, then from the absolute reality's point of view, there is no place for creation, cause and effect. Something like, from the water's point of view, there is nothing like ocean and waves. From the water's point of view, there is nothing like the ocean, the cause and waves, the effect. From the water's point of view, there is nothing like small, little, innocent, poor waves and terrible, monstrous tides and the breakers. These words have no meaning for the water. In the same manner, he who has recognized his essential self from that absolute vision, this world has no existence. Like the actor who is acting on the stage as a lover or a villain, as a healthy man or as a deceased man, as a rich person or a poor person. All these things have no existence from the actor's point of view. Because he knows this is just the play that is being supported by me. Even when I am acting as a beggar, I am not a beggar. When I am acting as a villain, I am not a villain. This is the ultimate vision. Therefore, Sankhya approach starts from the Jivatma Bhav. Dharma starts from the Dehatma Bhav and the Vedanta Pro starts from the Advaita Bhav. There is no duality whatsoever taken into account. And this duality is not contrary to the presence of the, the this non-duality is not contrary to or opposing to the appearance of the duality, like the rope is not against the snake, because the rope doesn't see the snake, it is the other people who are seeing. In the same manner, from the absolute reality point of view, 
there is no jiva jagat ishvara bheda there is but one non dual real self that we are and therefore atma eva ek asit iti abhipraya so what is the purpose of all this abhipraya conclusion is this <coughs> before creation the world was called as atma after creation the atma is called as world see before create before marriage he was called as a son after marriage he is called as son in law now when he has become a son in law he does not cease to be a son now what happened he has got one visheshata what is the visheshata now he gets respect from the in laws earlier he was never getting any respect from anybody now at least there is one place when he goes to his in laws place javai bapu and he gets all the respect of the world this is the visheshata now sa atma sarvadnya swabhavyat atma ek eva san ikshata ikshata so this atma he is sarvadnya swabhavyat by nature he is omniscient because he alone is because we don't require any means of knowledge to know ourselves see means of knowledge and authority is required if the knowledge is about someone else for example if i am asked do you know computer i will say no do you know english i will say no do you know um jambia i will say no but do you know myself i don't have to even say no or yes because i am that so here knowing and being is one is the atma see so therefore sarvagya swabhavyat is atma tatva by swabhav by nature is sarvagya omniscient and ek evasan ikshat and although he is one without a second he contemplated what he contemplated nanu pragutpatte he akarya karnatvat katham iti ikshitavan nayam dosha nanu means a question is raised now if you are asking a question before the creation without the effect and the instruments how this uh, atma started contemplation because he didn't have the head he doesn't have the mind he doesn't have the buddhi he doesn't have the thoughts he doesn't have the speech how will he think because a stone will never think an atma didn't have any of the instrument of contemplation how did he think so nayam dosha this is not a dosh maharaj why sarvadnya swabhavyat तथा च मंत्रवर्ण अपाणी पादो जवतो जवनो ग्रहीता इत्यादि बिकॉज ही इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ ओमनिशियन प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस एंड देयर फोर ही इज एबल टू कॉन्टेम्प्लेट विदउट द माइंड एग्जाम्पल इज गिवन इन श्वेताश्वत उपनिषद द मंत्र कम्स अपाणी पादो जवनो ग्रहीता all the this atma is without the legs yet he is extremely fast we are said in our isha vas upanishad tad dhavato anyan atteti tishtat tasmin napo matari swadadati tade jati tanne jati tad dure tad vadantike tadantarasya sarvasya tadu sarvasya asya vayataha so this atma tatva apani padaha although he is without legs he is very fast in running and although without hands he can hold everything in him and in this manner this atma although without any instrument of contemplation contemplated and what he contemplated kena abhiprayana ityah why did he contemplate that is said in the next topic we'll take it in our next class पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णात्पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुभ्यो नम 
हरि ओम